Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and this is a combined Vera Bradley and Lug haul. So a little bit of both. The first item I have to share, I actually didn't buy. It was a gift from a friend of mine. Hi, Jill. Hi, Mia. Um, they came over for a little bit of a swim, I don't want to say a party, just the three of us. We've both been in isolation this whole time, and so we both felt kind of safe just getting together for just a couple hours of socialization, which is important to stay sane. Um, but she brought over a little gift. She's a huge fan of Vera Bradley as well. In fact, next week we're going to drive up to Phoenix and take a little girl's trip up there to the outlet and the retail store. Because my nearest one is two plus hours away. But this is a wine tumbler with lid. Super fun. It says off duty, which obviously I am because I'm retired. But this is in pretty posies. It is plastic. It's the double wall and it's you know it just it sits on its own and the top just pops off and it has a gasket around there rubber gasket so you could use it without the lid just a tumbler but it's kind of a thick edge um, but you it has a nice drinking edge here and then a slide to close kind of thing so i haven't tested it to see if it leaks it's it kind of just the shape of it reminds me of weeble wobbles um, but it doesn't and you know if it gets on the edge it's you know weebles wobble but they don't fall down this will this will fall down <laughs> So add that to the drinking vessel collection. The next thing I have is I have three masks. Um, if you haven't noticed and you're interested in masks from Vera still, it's a much better time to buy. In fact, they may even still have some right now. They were there earlier today, they were available. Um, so they're stocking them more quantity and more frequently and more pattern options. Um, additionally, not just online, but you can get them at the Vera stores as they're opening up. Both outlet and retail have them in different patterns like you can't get all the patterns everywhere but there's definitely a selection available and you also can get them at Vera Bradley retailers like Hallmark stores etc I don't know about all of them but I know some do have them and that's um, another avenue to get them so lots of options now much more available they're definitely um, not selling out in minutes or hours or even days now sometimes so but these ones I got I got a Kiev Paisley and I didn't take it out because I already have um, a bunch that I'm using. So as they start to wear out or something, then I'll open up some more and add them to the rotation. But then I got Wildflower Garden. So you know my purples, my dark backgrounds with florals and paisleys. Yeah, these are right up my alley. And then this one, this one is an interesting one. This is the Citrus Hibiscus, which was the um, New Hope Girls backpack that they made. Um, and it's a canvas type material. So it has a cotton layer on the inside, but the exterior is the same material as the backpack. So it's like a woven material, but it's a pretty teal with those nice, beautiful florals. So I did, I did want to get that. And hey, now I match like any one of these bags I can have a matching mask for. So that's kind of fun. Anyway, so they are more available. Good luck and happy hunting. The next item I got is um, Red, White & Blossom Soft Fringe Scarf. And again, um, I have so many scarves right now that I've decided that until I wear them, which in the summer in Arizona, <laughs> not going to be a lot, but until I use them, I'm leaving them in the wrapping um, just to kind of, so I don't have nowhere to hang them anyways, <laughs> just being realistic, just a little easier to store them flat in a drawer together <laughs> in the Vera room. Yeah, I laugh at myself because I have way too much stuff. All right, but then I got two cotton bandanas. I got pretty posies and um, Java Blue. These are the only two that were available. So I have, I think, three now. I have Moonlight Garden and these two. Um, and I forget the dimensions of it, but it's just basically a big square, single layer cotton bandana. But I got these because I think that they can be used as like a centerpiece for table decoration. Um, you can use them, um, I mean, they're not napkins, they're way too big for that, and I guess you could. You could make things from them. You can make masks. You don't even have to do sewing. You could do two hair ties and do the folding thing with the bandana and use that to make a mask. You know, a lot of options. So I thought it's nice just to have a few of these available. And worst case, they'll make a great gift, you know, down the road somewhere. So that's a, something that was worth having. Yeah. So that's that. Oops. And that's it for Vera. Sorry. But the lug stuff. I have Transport 3-Piece Clearview Envelope Set, and this one is in Midnight Black. 
Um, these are great. I have one set already. I have the Waves Navy, which was in my one of my initial hauls. Um, but this is a nice set. I just really like them. I think they're great for organizing in your bigger bags, like your purses, backpacks, totes, whatever, travel bags, everyday bags. It has a quick release loop on the end, so you can you know, hook something on, like your keys, and just use it as an on-the-go wipeable purse thing. You could you know, store your masks in them, whatever. Lots and lots of options. Um, but like I said, three sizes, so let me pull them all apart. And Lug does have multiple kinds of, of envelopes. These ones are the transports, which is clear on the front. So you have that whole envelope that's clear. And then on the back, you have a separate pocket. This would be like a privacy area. It's not plastic lined, but it is like a wipeable nylon. And not quite as big as the main, well, I guess it kind of is because it goes up in space. But, but so you just have some, you know, private, not private, <laughs> you know, whatever and your zippers, nice and slicky smooth zippers on these. So there's your medium, there's a small one, same layout and design on these. And I was thinking that these could clip together, but the smaller two do not have a loop on them. So there's a recommendation for Lug for the future. Wouldn't it be cool if they each had a loop and in case you wanted, you could hook them together like that like you can with the Vera ones. Anyway, that's nifty. We will sit down and do comparisons later, but this is just a haul. So that's the black set. Then I got two of the Carousel Extra Large um, crossbodies. And I think that's the name of it. I know it's a Carousel XL, but yeah, that's all it says. Anyway, the first one is in Bouquet Black and We'll take a look at this in detail in a moment. But then I also have Star Shells Navy. This is a brand new pattern and I like it a lot. I mean, look at this. It has seashells and stars and it's purples and teals on a navy background right up my alley. Um, really fun and really pretty. So this will go with a lot of different things. Um, but the two bags are exactly the same except for the pattern. So we'll just set this one aside after we look at the interior pattern as well. And this one is a nice light color stripes with like purples and teals and white. It's like a lavender, like a light purple. So really nice and light interior. Super exciting, I love new stuff. And that is a new, um, newly re-released item, this Carousel XL. Um, there is a Carousel as well. I don't know a whole lot about the older versions, there's lots of videos on YouTube about them, but um, this is the most recent edition and it is slightly bigger than the previous, I know that much. Um, I don't have any of the previous, so it's kind of hard to say, but. So this one has a phone pocket right here on the top. It is the classic lug fleece lined phone pocket, but it's a wide, so it's not a vertical one, it's horizontal really. Let's see, here's my phone. So you could put your phone in vertically, but see it doesn't go all the way down, but it does fit horizontally and fits nicely right in there. And that magnetic closure easily closes above it right there. So that's really nice. So that fits. And then below that, you have a straight zipper right here. And that is just a nice open pocket. There's no organization in there, but look at this interior. I really, really like it. It's, a, it's stripes. It's like almost like a, like a bronze color sort of um and then it has like polka dots on it like confetti almost looks like glittery that's kind of fun but just a straight pocket with a fun interior and the bouquet black while we're talking about patterns um this is one that you could get hit or miss on pattern placement a little bit i don't think you can really get a bad one but you definitely can get better ones um this one it has nice flowers on the front and the flowers are very pretty colors a lot of similar colors to the Bloom Black, so I think the two patterns will probably coordinate very nicely together. But I think I've got a decent depiction. I don't have a lot of dead space. It's evenly spread. You can see all the different colors, so that's nice. I think the back gives a little better depiction because without the quilting, you actually can see the pattern a little bit better. So there you go, but it's pretty. Okay, so back to the pockets. On the front, you, this, this is just a decorative loop here, but you certainly could, I suppose, you could clip like your um, hand sanitizer on there or slide something behind there to, I don't know, 
I think it's strictly decorative and that's fine. But this front pocket has a nice up and around zipper on it and you open it up and you have some organization. On the front, you have a clear ID window and then you have two card slots right below that. And this is, yep, it is RFID, right there's your tag. And on the back side of it, you have a nice fleece lined pocket. So it's alternate phone location. So you could have your phone here or here. Um, or if you have two phones, or maybe you want to put your phone in one and your glasses in the other, or your sunglasses, your readers, something. Um, I think that's gonna be my sunglasses area probably. And my phone is always in the quick access pocket there. That's just me. We'll see though, never know. But so there's your three pockets on the front, your phone pocket, your straight zipper, and then your zipper that goes up and around. This pocket fits very nicely, I think, will fit very nicely with your envelopes. So here's your medium, for example, and it does fit. You have to tuck in that zipper on the end and that will definitely zip up in there, which is great. And then the smaller one, probably even better, fits perfectly right there in the middle. Very nicely, so I probably will use that. Um, and you could have your wallet in there too, there's room. It would not be too crowded unless you had that thing jam slammed with stuff. So that's the front. On the back, you have another straight zipper, and this pocket is same as the front. It's just a straight pocket with a lot of options. So again, looking at envelopes, the medium envelope, it does fit, um, but it's a little tight. Yeah, so you gotta kind of work it in there. So if that thing is full, then that would not, that would not be an optimum place to put that. But the small one, you betcha, fits easily, perfectly and you don't even have to squeeze it or bend it, and you could totally use that for the back pocket, so that's nice. I don't think they come in balloon black or bouquet black yet, but maybe in the future. Meanwhile, the black will work. Okay, so that is it for the outside. Let's look at the inside. One main compartment, it does have a removable and adjustable strap, which is nice. All metal fittings, which is lovely. Inside, you have um, you have several things. On this side where you can see the tissue, that's your clear pocket, so clear clear front. And it is the full panel all the way across and all the way to the bottom, nice big pocket. On the side here, you have a key bungee with the quick release hook on it. So you just hook your keys on there and you can always find them, a nice elastic. And then on the back of the bag, you have two Cargo pockets with elastic. These are not lined. They're just the nylon interior. But there's another look at that pattern. It is sort of metallic looking. And there's your name, Carousel XL. So if you ever forget what lug you're carrying, it always tells you right there. And that's it. So this one doesn't have pen slots. So that's okay. Um, but I really like this. Kind of a simple with good organization, not overdone, not underdone. It's to me a very nice, happy medium size crossbody or shoulder bag right there. You also could, you know, use it as an internal organization in big bags as well, which is another good thing. Um, this next bag is the Skipper SE, and this is in Wildflower Multi. I always say, every time I say it, I say multi, multi. Someone can tell me please in the remarks which one it's supposed to be, if you know, because I don't, and I just keep making it up every time I say both. But this one, it's a crossbody or shoulder bag, and it has only on one side. So this is not removable. Um, it is adjustable, and you can disconnect the one side, but you cannot disconnect the other. So it's kind of interesting that they would even have that that way, but it is what it is. And I don't dislike it. It's just an interesting observation. So you get it all straight, and for me, I'm right-handed, so I would wear it like this, which is great. And you have this little pocket. If you want this in the front, then you just switch it to your other side and then you have that in the front or you flip the whole bag around so that you can have it on the side you want and this one just puts the slip in the front instead of the zippers. So it's all a matter of your preferences. You can do it any which way you want. I personally probably wear it like that, but I don't know yet, we'll see. Um, this, this pocket right here, you can use for anything you want. It is fleece lined and that nice teal interior color. And it does have room for, I'm looking around because I don't have my sunglasses. You could put keys, you could put glasses, sunglasses, you can put 
anything that'll fit in that pocket. It is not big enough for a coin purse, not the loved one anyway. It probably would fit some of the Vera ones, um, but I'm just gonna use it for my sunglasses because for me, that is a high use item that I always end up carrying on my head because I don't wanna put it in my purse to get all scratched up, but, but whatever that's worth. And it is pretty simple. Um, it does have a cell phone pocket. Let's start on the back. So your cell phone pocket, soft lined, and it fits your phone really nicely. I usually try to put glass side in, but nice magnetic on the top. And this one is one of the deeper ones. So it easily fits well within, like this to me is the perfect height for the lug phone pockets. Some of them are a little bit shorter and the magnet doesn't quite close because my phone is just a little bit tall. But this one is perfect. Nice width to it too. So I don't know how much bigger would fit in there, but you could um, because it is a little wider too. Um, then you have a big slip pocket, also has a hidden magnet right in the middle. So if this phone pocket isn't working or you want to carry maybe a small tablet or a book, something like that, yeah, I guess what, if it's easily right in that back pocket. And in this case, my phone is too tall for that magnet to close then, but it doesn't have to close if you're just carrying something in a slip there. There's that. On the other side, there are two pockets, so five total. One on the strap, two on the back, two on the front. The top one is your main compartment. Very simple. It has no organization whatsoever. It does have a pretty interior pattern though, the teal with the uh, hashes on it. And it does have this upper here. So something that might be a little taller, you might still could get that up and over, but otherwise it's just easy in and out. Slicky smooth zippers, love those lug zippers. And then the bottom one is a straight pocket as well, just a smaller pocket. So, just curious, we have the small of the envelopes. Let's see if it fits. I think it does fit in there. Again, just a little maneuvering to get it in. But once it's inside, it does have a little more space in the pocket than there is in the zipper. So it fits quite nicely inside there. Not that you need it, but you could use that as well. My plan is I just ordered the Minuet wallet to go with this and I could put that and the little coin pouch right in there in all matchy matchy wildflowers. And then in the main pocket you can use whatever else. Um, yeah, so lots of options. This does have quilting on the front. It's the swirly quilting like we saw on my Splits XL. Or not my splits XL, well, actually, yeah, the splits XL, but also the regular splits has that quilted on the bottom. But the rest of the bag up here and on the back and on the strap and on the other pocket, it's all just straight material, a nice smooth nylon material. You got your dangle jangle. So this is nice. If you want to hang a bag charm, it does have this loop right here, which would be a great place to do it. Um, like for me, that would be my hand sanitizer option, which is another thing that, of course, you can put in this pocket if you so desire. Okay, pretty thorough review of that one. Looking forward to giving that a try. Um, the next bag and the last item for today's haul is the Cartwheel in Tropical Fog. This bag is a little bit smaller than I expected. Um, yeah, I mean, again, you read the numbers and I've, I've just not seen it next to some of the other bags, like side by side. So I just kind of thought it was a little bit bigger. It's actually a great size. Um, and it's a nice addition to the spectrum of options. So it's smaller than a weekender, but bigger than some of the other bags. So it fits nicely in the middle. But this is a tote type bag. It would be a great gym bag, actually, a really nice gym bag. Um, but you have non-slip grip on the inside tops of the handles, and then you have just a reinforced upper. So it's a nice, robust grab on both of those handles. And it had that non-slip grip, so a really nice strap drop and you can hold them on your shoulder and then will stay pretty well. And they're just gonna slip off all the time. Um, okay, let's look at pockets, front to back. So we have this big pocket right here. So this entire quilted section right there on the front is a diagonal zipper, goes down all the way to there. And inside is soft line. So it's, it's quite big, your phone or maybe a small tablet would fit nicely in there. This pocket right here is smaller, still a good size, and it, it's about to here. So it's kind of like a square like this. And it's it does have a bungee in there for your keys. You can hook them on there with a quick release hook. 
a nice place just to always know where your keys are or your chapstick or whatever you want to put in there. It is not self lined, but you could also put like your glasses or something in there as well. I just love those slick zippers. I can't get over it. Okay, on these sides, you do have on both sides nice, generous cargo pockets for your water bottles and whatnot. This one does not have the magnets to hold it closed. But they do have nice elastic, so it's not just hanging out there in the breeze. On the back of the bag, well, before we go to the back, actually, let's do this front compartment. It's a double zipper on the top, and it zips down only to there. And inside, it's just a big, roomy pocket. One big, open pocket. And it, it's very, very usable. You can put almost anything. And the back now. So you have a similar type pocket with a double zipper. It doesn't go quite all the way across, but it zips farther down so it opens up really nicely. It's got these gussets on the side. But what you have is you have a two pockets of clear with one zipper. And then opposite that, you have a single pocket as well with the clear. I'm going to have a piece of plastic. Just looks like scraps from when they were putting it together. So you have that, and then you could, if you wanted, here's a medium envelope again. Fits just perfectly right inside there as well. So you could either put multiple mediums or you could put multiple smalls, and that pocket is very accommodating for all of that. So you can get lots of layered organization if you don't have really thick things in there. Down below that, you have your trolley sleeve, which is a single Velcro dot to hold it when you're not using it. And then beneath that, you have another zipper pocket straight across, and it does do this whole bottom section here. And it's just a straight pocket right there. Nice lining. This lining is that um, foulard or little mini medallions on there, whatever that's called. And it's a nice tan color, so it matches nicely with the rest of the bag. Let me put this tissue back between these plastic layers. I don't want them to stick. Good storage. There we go. Okay, so that's the front and the back. Now let's look in the main compartment right here in the middle. This does have a removable, adjustable strap for shoulder or crossbody carriage. So you can take that all the way off if you want. It's all metal fittings, which I love. Inside, you have a couple things. You have two big cargo pockets. They're not lined, but they are elastic on the top. And they go all the way to the bottom. And one of them has a nice drawstring shoe bag. It's just a straight rectangle, but it's in that interior nylon material. So you can put your shoes in there. Again, great for a gym bag or whatever else you want to use it for. It's not plastic lined or anything. It's just a straight nylon, like a windbreaker or something. And it is connected right now because I didn't break the plastic yet. Inside you have this um, two cargos on the one side and on the other side you have a privacy zipper. It is only as wide as the zipper so there's excess space in the bag. That is to me it's a little bit of a waste. I'm sure there's a reason they short changed that pocket but to me you could get a wider pocket and it also is kind of shallow. It only goes about two thirds of the way down the back so not all the way to the bottom. So it's fine. It's perfectly fine the way it is. Um, and then you have this bottom piece that right now is kind of sitting up here in the middle. So you just lap that down into place and that gives you a semi-rigid bottom. See that? So once it's in place and you have this big bottom, see that? So it is quite a roomy bag, even though when it's not all stretched out, it looks smaller, so, but it is wide and deep. So you've got the plastic bottom that's wipeable and then you have the plastic feet on the four corners as well. So when you're not using it, it just folds right down to a nice flat sort of space there. Let me put this inside. And that is your cartwheel in tropical fog. Now this pattern, in case you didn't get a good look at it, it has, it's like a dark gray, like a charcoal background, and then it has lighter gray, tan, and black. I don't know what you call those, palms or ferns or whatever they are. It doesn't look like a fern, it's more like palm prongs, but yeah. And I have some smaller accessories like my flipper, my double decker, I have a couple wallets, 
couple things in tropical fog. So this just made sense as the pattern to pick for a weekend type bag or a gym bag as well. So that's it for this one. For all my Vera and Lug lovers, thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well. Take care, be safe, and washy washy. Bye for now.